Hi there, my name is Welmoet and I'm a Kajabi Tech VA. In this video I'll show you how to create a contact form for your website. So we're just going to use a regular form for this. There is no standard like contact form um, module that you can use or anything. So we're just going to use the form that Kajabi is offering that you would also use as an opt-in form for a freebie, for example. So under marketing, we will find forms. And we're simply going to click new form here at the top right. And we name it contact form. We click save. Then right here, we just have the standard form fields, name and email. But obviously we want people to be able to leave us a message. So we're going to click add form field right here. And we click create new field. We're going to type in message. And under type, we're going to select text area because that allows people to leave a little bit of a longer message. We're also going to make the field required because otherwise they're submitting their name and email and we have no idea what their message for us is. So we need to take this box right here. We're going to click save. And now the form has been created. We can preview it right here. And this doesn't look really good, right? And it says join the newsletter and we want to, to change that. But this is just the form setup, like the technical setup of the form. Once we embed it on a specific landing page, like a contact page, we can change the look of this. So don't worry about the looks. We just need to test it. There is like name, email and message. That's important. So we're going to go back. And one more thing that you want to do on this end right here is the area on the right hand side where it says after submission. We want to send a notification to our team because otherwise we won't know that someone actually submitted this contact form and we can't get back in touch with them. So it's important to leave your email address here. Now what sometimes goes wrong is that people just leave it like this and they click save and it's not actually saving. So right now you just see it like this. I'm going to hit enter and then it turns into this like rectangular bracket kind of thing. Um, that's good. Now it's actually going to save when I hit save. So make sure that you save the form and check that this is indeed here in, you know, this rectangular shape and not just as you saw it before, because then it's not sending the message and then you may actually miss out people that are contacting you, right? So this is the form itself. And now we need to embed this form onto a page because the form, you cannot send people straight to a form. We have to put the form on a landing page. So under website, there is page builder. So we click on page builder and we're going to click new page here at the top, right? And there's different themes we can use. And I mostly work with the standard Premiere one because it is the most flexible and allows for the most possibilities and things that you can do with it. So you click on it, you click get started. And I'm going to click contact, contact us, for example, click create. And then Kajabi is actually creating a template for us with some pre-designed content that you can easily swap out the images and the, the text that's on there. But for this, I just want a simple contact form. You can obviously make the page look better if you want to, but for this video, I'm just showing you how to work with the contact us section. So I'm just going to simply delete all the other elements by clicking on the elements here on the left on the three dots, clicking delete, delete, delete. If you ever want them to come back, you simply click add section right here. So I'm just deleting all these and then I'm going to click add section right here and we're going to do. Let's see where that one is that I want. This one opt in form and we click add. And I'm just going to click save so you can see for a second. So on the right hand side, we see what it would look, would look like, right? So you can change this text right here and then the form would show up right here. So you can say contact us. Got any questions? Feel free to get in touch. You'll hear from us shortly. Something like that. 
And then here you have to select the form. So from this drop down, you're going to choose the one that we just created, the contact form. And now you see that actually the, the text that we saw previously where it said like sign up for the newsletter has been changed into the text that we set up here on the left hand side. Right, so we have this information right here. The form is right here and they can submit it. If you want to change the button color, you can simply click on it and uh, let's see, for solid buttons, like you can change the color and things like that. But I just wanted to show you the techie setup like this. Now, if you don't like this whole area right here, we can simply, oops, sorry. Let's go back here, opt-in form. You can just go over all these different elements right here. So you can send them to a specific thank you page if you want to. Um, if you don't fill this out, it's just going to give a standard, um, it's just going to show a standard Kajabi um, thank you, we've got your message kind of page, which is fine, but you could, you could make um, a landing page and then send them to a specific uh, landing page that you created for this. If you have questions around that, feel free to drop me a comment below and then I'll get back to you about that. So if you want to change the submit text, you can do that right here show text so I don't I wanted to delete that text right there right so we don't even need to remove this because we untick this box so it's not showing anymore right uh, appearance right left bottom input label blah 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 you can just play around with all these things right if you don't want the background image you can remove that one now it's black if we use image overlay if you remove that it turns this kind of like gray so it's best to use that and then use this one background color override you click on this drop and maybe just make it white then it's like this or make it blue or make it whatever your brand color is you can simply click on the rainbow thingy here and put in your hex code so yeah just play around with it right maybe you want it all black that's fine too just make it like this that's a little dark maybe light gray whatever you want right and then ooh. I clicked delete did you see that whoops so I'm gonna add it again it's so quick to do opt-in form add right so we would change these things I'm just gonna leave this right here I can do that real quick contact us feel free to get in touch we'll here from us shortly there we go Thank you page, blah, blah, blah. We didn't want to show the text. I'm gonna remove that. I don't want the background image. You can also change the background image into something that you like. Let's do this grayish color right here. And then instead of delete, we're gonna click this one right here, save. And now we have the contact us page created. Now, what else you wanna do is add it to the main menu on your site. Right, so we're going to go back, go all the way back, and we click website, and then we click navigation right here. And then for the main menu, we're going to click add link right here. And strangely enough, page right here doesn't mean landing page from the page builder, so we're actually going to have to use the link option right here. And we need to put in the specific URL of the contact page, but we need we don't need to do like the full URL. You could, but you don't need to. So we can just do contact us because I think that was the URL that we that was created, but we'll we'll check that. Contact us. Right? We don't want it to be visible to logged in users only, like your members for your course or your membership. We want it to be visible to everyone. So we click save. And now when we check out the website, and there's nothing really there because I use this as a demo website, <laughs> there's the contact us option right here. And people click on it and they get indeed to the contact form right here. Now, does this look this page look particularly nice? No, it doesn't. So you, you know, it's up to you to put like a nice background image or play with the colors and things like that. But at least now you have this thing right here, people can fill it out and you will receive a message in your inbox with what people uh, put right here. Now, there's actually a little bit of 
um, it's a little hard to then like reply to the message and that has to do with the way this form has been set up and you cannot easily just you know when you get that notification by Kajabi you cannot easily just click reply and then it would go back to that person it would actually sort of send it back to Kajabi because Kajabi is sending you this notification right but there is a workaround around that that I um, that I found in the uh, Kajabi Facebook group someone um, posted that and it was a brilliant solution so I'll show you that in a different video and the video link will be in the comments below this video so you can check that out as well I hope this was helpful. If you have any more questions, get in touch with me below the video. Leave me some comments there. I would love to hear from you and I look forward to helping you more with other videos. If you haven't subscribed to my videos yet, please click the subscribe button and I would love to be in touch more with you. Bye.